Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the ice door assembly on your refrigerator. It's a really easy job. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to access the whole dispenser area here. So the first thing we'll want to do is to disconnect power to the refrigerator. So locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or the, remove the appropriate fuse or pull the refrigerator far enough forward that you can unplug it. Now once we've done that, our next step will be to remove this grill at the very bottom. Simply grasp it and pull it forward and just set that aside. Now that will expose three screws across the bottom that hold that housing in place. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Now one of these screws is located just slightly behind that handle. So we suggest that you put a little piece of masking tape to protect the screwdriver from marring that door handle. So remove the three screws. Then we're going to lift up on that escutcheon and release three tabs at the top. Just going to rotate that and tilt it out. And you'll note that there is a wire harness that connects to the display board. We're going to disconnect that harness at the board pull it straight away and then we can set that escutcheon aside. Now next we'll remove three screws that secure that whole assembly to that housing. Now we'll tilt that just slightly forward so you can access a wire harness connector on the left hand side here. We're just going to depress that harness connector with a little locking tab on that. Depress the tab and pull the harness straight back. And that will disconnect it. We're going to remove this whole assembly from the refrigerator. The only thing holding it in place is that water line that comes out through the dispenser opening. So we'll need to push that water line up through that opening. So just take a flat blade screwdriver, just something that you can catch the edge of that tubing. Push that up enough that you can tilt it out far enough. You may be able to grasp it from behind and pull it out of the opening. At this point, you can lift that whole assembly out and now we'll set that on a suitable work surface where we can change out the part. Now next we're going to remove these two retaining straps on either end of those hinge pins. Now that will allow us to Lift the actuator lever away from the assembly. Now our next step will be to remove that hinge pin for the ice chute door. So first of all, take note of where the arms are on the spring. And then with a pair of pliers, just grasp the center portion of that shaft. push a portion of it through on that side. And you should be able to pull that spring right off of that shaft. Set that aside. And then lift the ice chute door off of that shaft as well. Now next we're going to pop that center plug out push the door seal out through the opposite side. We'll take our new door chute. We'll begin by fitting that seal into place. Make sure that the lip covers the whole perimeter. We'll take that plug, slide one of the tabs in first, rotate it around, 
and using a small flat blade screwdriver, just carefully lift up on the inner lip of that seal so that we can engage those tabs. I've rotated that plug around so that the tabs don't line up with those slots anymore. And now we're ready to put that assembly back together. So we'll begin by sliding the gear end of that door chute onto that shaft. Make sure it's all the way over. Next we'll take the spring. We'll start by fitting the long end in. And we're going to tuck that loop down inside the housing. And now we're ready to push that shaft all the way over to engage the other hinge pin. Now you may Use a small soft face hammer and just tap that gently. Support that housing. Make sure we engage that spring. that opening. And then carefully squeeze it into the receptor on the opposite side. Now to install the actuator, we're going to partially close that flapper and these two pivot pins on the back side of that actuator are going to slide over these two ramps on the side of the ice chute door. Then position the pivot pins on that ice door actuator into the two slotted receptors and hold it in place. Install a retaining bracket on both sides. pins are set down into the recessed area. And when properly installed, the door should open like that. Now we're ready to put that assembly back in through the refrigerator. Now when reinstalling this assembly, the difficulty that you will encounter is trying to fit that water tubing back into that opening. And we found the best method to do that is to simply position the housing in place, attach it with the three mounting screws. We'll roughly push that water line where it should be, and then we're going to take that control board, tilt it forward so we can reach in and guide that water line down into the spout. So we'll line this up, 
reconnect the wire harness on the side. Again, making sure that that locking tab engages. And with a pair of needle nose pliers, just take that water line and make sure it lines up right over top of that opening. Position that housing in place. And then we'll install the three retaining screws. Make sure that assembly is seated firmly and don't use the screws to pull it into place. Using a number one Phillips screwdriver, we're going to remove these six screws that secure that board and the plastic shield. These are very fine screws, so use the proper size screwdriver for them. You'll need to remove the three top ones first to get that shield out of the way. And you'll also want to make sure that you ground yourself so that you don't induce any static electricity onto that board. Now with the three top screws removed, you can lift that shield away and just set that aside. And then carefully remove the three bottom ones. I'll just carefully lift that board away from the housing. And you need to disconnect that harness just temporarily. And then lower that board down out of the way. Now we can access that tubing and line it up with the opening in the bottom. So again, using a pair of needle nose pliers, just gently grasp that tubing. We don't want to pinch it, just to hold it enough that you can guide it. And we're going to push that down into that opening until it's just flush with the bottom. Reconnect that harness if you've disconnected it. that board into position. And again it should lay flush against that housing and then we'll install the three screws across the bottom. Now with the three bottom screws secure we're ready to put the shield in and the top screws. And the easiest way to do this is to put one of the screws through the hole in that shield first and if you've damaged that shield just take some heavy cellophane tape and form a new edge on it. Now with those screws attached, our three mounting screws are tight, we're ready to put the escutcheon back on. We'll begin by attaching the wire harness. Now if you look carefully at that wire harness, you'll note that there is a locating tab in the center on one side that will match with the opening in that connector on the board. So carefully line that up. And then press the connector firmly onto the board. Then we'll line up the three tabs 
back side of that escutcheon with these three rectangular openings in the front panel. Press them firmly in and then push the assembly down. Now we'll secure it with the mounting screws on the bottom. And the protective tape. Next we'll put the drip tray back in. Simply line it up on both sides. Press it firmly into place. We're ready to reconnect the power and your repair is complete.